just how fitting and appropriate it is that I busted out the old chick magnet shirt for today's video topic. Ooh, yes, indeed. Shall be fun, indeed. The second installment of the 12 Days of OTRS Central Christmas. Today's topic is my 11 most heavenly women in wrestling today. Couple of notes here. Number one, even if you were on the list a few years ago, if you're married to that walking, talking, D-bag, Cody Rhodes, you're off this time. Number two, I'm not really going with any semi-retired or completely retired ones from the past. Trying to focus on the here and the now, not trips to the spank bank of yore. Okay? All right. Number three, I'll try to behave here and try to be just a little bit classy. Bit of a challenge for me. I, I grant you, but here it is. Oh, one more thing. Those of you that have watched me for a long time should know my taste and what I like. So this list, when you look it up and down, for the most part, maybe with one or two exceptions, should really not surprise you. There won't be a ton of pasty faces. You know the shape and figure that I kind of like at this point, although there might be some surprises on this list, you never know. But let's keep it real. You're just waiting for me to get to number one and seeing how stupid I'm going to act. Well, we'll get there soon enough, all right? Let's go! My 11 most heavenly women in wrestling today. Starting with number 11. If you're old enough to create an OnlyFans account, then you're old enough to be on this list. Number 11, Aaliyah Mysterio. I mean, this young lady is beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. And this is as much about projecting the future as it is anything else. She's, what, 19, 20 years old now? You talk about when she starts getting to, like, the mid-20s, maybe late-20s, like, you know, unless Bray Wyatt gets a hold of her and totally ravages her, um, you know, she is going to be truly one of the most beautiful women in professional wrestling. And I would certainly say she belongs on that list now. Like, you can acknowledge that somebody is cute or beautiful without making a bunch of nasty, perverted remarks. I'll save some of those for other names on this list, but Aaliyah Mysterio? Mwah! C'est magnifique. Just absolutely beautiful, stunning young lady. Of course, she kind of looks like Vince just a little bit, and she got kind of them butchy mom arms thing and that really annoying, squeaky, nasally voice, and if anybody knows about that, it'll be this one right here. But admit it, fellas, if you had the chance, you'd do it. You'd do her, you'd go where only God and I think the Macho Man have been before. A goo yeah! And ladies also, let's admit it. If you aren't into women, you would still do her. And if you are into women, you most certainly would do her. Like, Stephanie McMahon is like peak epitome, MILF category. Like, no shame in her game whatsoever. And fellas, look at it. Like, if the ladies can find guys more attractive because of the money that they have, she's a freaking millionaire. Why can't we find her sexy enough to put her at number 10 on this list, right? Because deep down, you want her to fuck you up. That's why. JoJo is just so damn cute. But frankly, while I can talk about her and how glorious and beautiful Jose Offerman's daughter is, I would rather take the time to congratulate Bray Wyatt. Like, if you're going to wreck your own marriage and you're going to find somebody else and put a couple of babies in her and say, fuck the world, she can get my future child support, JoJo is the way to go. Bray Wyatt, the fiend, I don't know what you are when you're at home. If you're a Husky Harris, if you're a Rotunda, I don't know, and I don't care. All I've got to say is, JoJo still looks great, fantastic, and so many of us salute you, sir. Bouncing back and forth between Asuka or Miss Lee. 
Asuka or Miss Lee. And ultimately, as much as the Asuka thing has run me over in time, just like the crazy screaming ranting and the squirting from the mouth, I know you're going to say that's a green mist. Whatever, it's squirting because she gets excited, okay? At the end of the day, I got a default to who Mark Henry responds to when she posts a thirst trap on social media. Mark Henry responds to Miss Lee's and clearly shows some affection for her, which means Smokey would have shown affection for her, which means I got to go with her because I got to tell you, God damn, she looked good in a bikini, dude. Period. sit there and call her God's greatest creation, especially in professional wrestling. To me, that's obviously who's number one on this list. But, well, young, white girls usually aren't my thing. I would make an exception for Mandy Rose. I absolutely would. And to be fair, guys, I gotta kind of diversify a little bit here. I've got to sit there and have more flavor, more variety or spice, because you know my ass damn good and well. I would have just made this 11 sisters and called it a day, but I can't quite do that. Try to be a man for all the people, but still appealing to my taste. Like Mandy Rose looking at her, like there's a bit of a Trish Stratus thing. It's not all the way there. She's not as good as Trish, but she's damn good. And if I had a chance with her, I totally, completely would be calling her Trish by accident, purpose, doesn't matter. Because I'm a freaky, nasty fucker, that's why. But Mandy Rose? Oh, yeah. She can get the schleggy. Lennox, I want to thank you. I want to thank you because every morning I go to the OTRS Central Twitter feed, I see you in a bikini. Sometimes at lunch I check, it's you in a damn bikini. At night I check, guess what? Before I go to bed and I let off a couple schleggies, there you are in yet another bikini or some lingerie or something. Girl, all I want to say is you are magnificent, beautiful, and I thank you and appreciate you for reminding me of just how wonderful and beautiful some of God's creations can be, because you are certainly near the top of my list. Thank you, thank you for lighting up my days, posting all of those bikini and lingerie pics. It really means a lot to me, especially because Pornhub took away so much of the damn content on their website! surprise I think for most of you that know me or have followed this channel for any length of time is that you're looking at it and you're saying Naomi's only number five on your list hey competition's pretty steep here man being number five on this list is nothing to be ashamed of but this is a classic oh yes I've always had a crush on Naomi and it's not just because of her thickness her fat back or back fat, whatever the hell the kids want to call it nowadays. You know, I don't think any kids call it that nowadays. You're getting old, Jeff! The reality is, like, there is a sense, there's a level of genuine in real life to her that I just find so, so, so damn sexy. And when you take it and put it in that package, that physical package, to me, that's a wife material type of woman right there. However, however, out of respect to our tribal chief and his family, I would never, ever, ever even attempt if I was in the position to break up her happy home. I'm not about to disrespect the tribal chief. But if she wasn't part of that family, all bets are off! Vega, Rosita, Tia Trinidad, I don't care what damn name she goes by, but the Latina Trish Stratus is still smoking. If I remember correctly, she was on my list a few years ago, and she's back on it again, and by God, she deserves it. And there's even kind of something a little appealing, a little hot and sexy about her getting discarded by the WWE saying, nah. I'm my own strong, independent woman, and I don't need no Vince McMahon for nothing. I guess hot. And let's face it, fellas, 
She is just absolutely drop-dead gorgeous. And the fact that Austin Aries let her get away says all you need to know about Austin Aries and the fact that Alistair Black is with her should say plenty to you about the quality of the man of Alistair Black. So, congratulations, Alistair. We're proud of you. But most especially of all, thank you in the sky for making Tia Trinidad a reality. You know how much I love them athletic women? See, Serena Williams, I rest my case. I like those ladies that got some meat to them. I like those ladies that I think could legitimately throw me around and fuck me up and dominate me. And there's no question that the EST of WWE, Bianca Belair, could do exactly just that. Like she is just magnificent. So well put together, and I love the way she conducts and carries herself. Might not be the speed for a lot of y'all, but it don't matter. It ain't your list. It's mine. And damn, girl, Bianca Belair, you is EST fine. Returnee from the list of a few years ago. Renee Michelle, oh my god. Like, if you had asked me six months ago who I would put at number one on this list, it would be Renee Michelle. She is absolutely stunning. Looks better than Brandy Rhodes and none of the stupidity. And she's with and married to somebody that you can actually like and respect and spud. Excuse me, Drake Maverick, whatever he wants to go by. And, and, and there's a part of it that you look at it and you say, this little shrimp gets to be with her. This wee tyke gets to be with that queen. Lord Farquaad can score with her. He leaves hope alive for each and every single one of you and me, by God. But I mean, seriously, just look at the pictures of her. And tell me she's not one of the most, if not arguably, the most beautiful women in all of professional wrestling today. And if you seriously told me that she wasn't, I would have to challenge and question your damn sanity. Have lots of lovers in your life. But you can only have one absolute true love. And sometimes love is about loss. But I'll never give up on this. No! My number one most heavenly woman in professional wrestling today. Look at the pic. Look at the pics of her out there. Cosplaying as Storm. Just her on her Instagram feed. Like, do I really need to say any more about Jade Cargill and why the hell she would be number one on the Schleg Daddies list? I'll wait. Exactly what I thought. Now, again, I'm not trying to be any type of home wrecker. I understand it'd be very hard for me to compete against somebody that made the amount of money that he did in his career, like Brandon Phillips. But all I'm saying is Jade. If you gave me a chance, I promise you, you wouldn't be disappointed. It would be good, yet different. But not the bad type of different. A good type of different. And look, I know you follow me on Twitter, which that in and of itself is like a mini Christmas miracle. Thank you. Thank you so much, God, on everything that is the Hunter, the Hearst, and the Helmsley. But... Like, just her walk, her talk, her look, her confidence, her ability to shit talk. Like, everything about it just screams, DREAM GIRL, to me. If you were asking me 
who I would, if I had a shot right now and I had to pick one lady in professional wrestling to get on my knees and be a good boy for the rest of my schleggy life and pop that big question that I've never popped before, who's it going to be? It would be Jay Cargill. Because, let's be honest, ladies and gents, I'm in love. Love. Love, 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 love. Oh, so hot. Want to rub her honey? Oh. <laughs> yes, please. I don't ask for much, and you give me less. Can you give me this one thing? Just this one thing, please! 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 There you have it, my 11 most heavenly women in professional wrestling. I can't wait to see you guys knock me and criticize me and call me all types of ugly and nasty names for this list. In the comments section below, I look forward to it. Engage those flaming keyboard fingers on fire and just let it rip. Because I'm here for all of it. And I'm here for you, Jade. Absolutely beyond a shadow of a doubt. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure you smash that subscribe button. And make sure you check out the previous video in this 12 Days of OTRS Central Christmas where I talked about the 12 worst burials of my wrestling lifetime. The next installment coming up tomorrow... The subject is the 10 worst spot monkeys in professional wrestling today. I can't wait to piss off all the match and move marks with that one.